Hey everyone, my name is Caro and I am a professional wakeboarder for Heyday and today I am going to show you how I clean my boat. I have a Heyday WT2 which is an awesome wakeboard and wake surf boat and I wakeboard in salt water which makes it build up a lot of corrosion and other types of wear and tear. First things first, start by covering up your screen and pulling the plug out of the bottom of the boat. The next thing I'm gonna show you is probably my favorite product that has made my life a million times easier. Um, it's this nozzle that you connect straight to your hose. Um, you can get it on Amazon or at any marine shop such as West Marine. And what I do with this is I use a product called Salt Away or Salt Off. And it is a biodegradable product which helps break down the salt crystals way better than just water by itself. So what you do is you unscrew the bottom and then I usually put about a three quarter uh, of this plastic jug full of salt away. Now the nozzle has a wheel on top which you just twist to make the solution mix with water and then you just start spraying down your entire bow. And I usually start on the outside and I work my way from the top and just kind of let it drip down. And I spray both my bow everywhere I can think of and the trailer because a lot of the times the trailer will be worse off than your boat because it goes in and out of that salt water. You can also spray wherever the boat attaches to the trailer. Just be careful so that you don't get your electric part super soaked. Then I continue, I go on inside the boat, I spray down the seats, the windows, your tower, the floor, cup holders. You can even spray your board racks where your board is. Basically everything that is metal, I try and spray extra well just be careful to not spray directly into your speakers or onto your gauges and your radio screens and stuff like that that you think could potentially get damaged otherwise just spray it all down with the salt away or whatever soap you would wish to use i like this one a lot because of the salt water next you switch the nozzle back to just clear water and you just start rinsing off the entire boat Don't forget to spray inside of your tires um, on your trailer and make sure you get most of the salt away off and underneath your boat, everything you can reach, basically the platform. If you do forget to rinse off the salt away, it does leave kind of a residue. So try and be pretty thorough and make sure you get most of the salt away away. It will come off when you spray it with water the next time, but it just doesn't look super pretty if you leave it. Don't forget to uh, pull the seats up and spray all around the seats, even maybe underneath the seats where that salt away can get stuck. Last but not least, wipe the entire boat down. And usually I like to use these microfiber for the outside, but even sometimes a towel, just a plain towel will will suck up more water than the microfibers do. Sometimes the salt away doesn't get like this gunk like the water line and stuff like that off so by wiping it down that's how you keep it extra clean. And then again don't forget to lift your seats up and wipe them down. Sometimes I leave my seats sitting up like this just so that they can dry out for another couple minutes before I cover the boat. And then when your boat's all dry, last but not least, I put my cover on. I keep my boat covered even if it's not raining to protect it from the sun or birds or stuff falling from the trees, pollen, all that stuff. And the Heyday cover is super easy to put on. You just use the Velcro and the buckles and you hang the centerpiece from the tower to keep the rain off. And then you use the ratchet strap to just lock it in. 